Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today I'll be teaching you how to draw a link. So first we're gonna get started towards the top of our page and we're going to draw a small line that comes right down the center. On the left of this now, we're going to curve our line up and we're gonna bring this all the way down and out towards the left of our page. Moving over to the right, we're going to bring this up, down, and then we're gonna curve this out and over towards the right. Moving directly into the bottom now, we're going to draw a curved line that stretches from left to right. And now in the middle here, we're going to curve our line that comes up, curving this out, and then all the way back down, connecting this over to our line on the top. And then moving over to the right, we're going to replicate that, bringing that up, down, and then curving this out and over towards the right. Moving in towards the middle again, we're going to curve this line up, all the way down, and we're gonna curve this out and over. And then on the right, starting where our line is on the left, we're going to curve this up, bring this down, and then out towards the right. On the left side now, we're going to curve this line up and over towards the top. And then moving over towards the right, we're going to replicate that. Over on the left now, we're going to start on the bottom line here, curving this up, bringing this all the way out, and then over towards the left. And then on the right, we're going to curve this up, bringing this down, and curving this out and over towards the right. On both sides now, we're going to curve a small line that comes up towards the top. Coming underneath here, we're going to draw a small triangle shape on the left, and then we'll move over to the right and replicate that. Coming in underneath now, we're going to frame in the shape of the head and then we'll move behind. So on the left side here, we're going to curve our line down in towards the center, back up, and then over on the right. To the left of this now, we're going to curve a line that comes down, across, and then back up and in towards the cheek. And then on the right side, we're going to curve this line down and then back up and over towards the cheek again. On our left side, we're going to curve this line down, in, and then back up. And then over on the right side, we're going to arch this line down, back up. And now over on the right side again, we're going to arch this line down and then back up and over and towards the side. Behind this on either side, now we're going to draw a small diagonal line that's gonna frame in the ear and we'll do this on the left as well. And moving up towards the top, we're going to frame in the top of the hat. So on the left side, we're going to curve this line all the way up, bringing it up towards the center and then back down and over on the right. And now moving inside, we're going to draw in the eyes. So on the right side, we'll start with our eyebrow by curving our line down and then back in. And then moving over to the left, we're going to curve this line back down and then all the way back over and in towards the left. Moving underneath this now, we're going to curve our line down towards the bottom, arching this all the way over towards the side and then down. And then from here, we're gonna curve this up with a diagonal line. Moving over to the left, we'll replicate that. So we're going to bring our line down, arching this all the way up and over towards the left and then back down. And then now from here, we're going to close this off with another diagonal line. Coming underneath this now, we're going to arch our line down bringing this across and then up and over. Moving over to our left eye, we'll replicate that, bringing that in, across, and then back up and over on the left side. Moving in towards the top now, we're going to draw a small oval shape, curving it around from the left and bringing this all the way up and over on the right. And moving over to the left side, we'll replicate that again, curving that all the way down and then back up and over on the right. Over in the top left corner here, we're going to draw a small circle for the highlight. And then moving over to our left eye in the top left corner again, we're going to draw another circle. Moving underneath this now, we're going to close this off with a curved line from left to right. And we'll do this on both eyes. And now coming underneath this, we're going to draw a small half circle. Moving into the middle, we'll draw the nose. So right in the center here, we're going to draw a small arch line that arches down. To the left of this, we're going to curve this line around and then back in. And then over on the right, we'll do the same thing. And now just above that, we're going to draw a very small arch line that points up towards the top. Moving underneath now, we're going to draw a small curved line for the mouth. And now we're gonna shift below and frame in the shield first. So over on the left side, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the top. 
And then starting back on the center there, we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes in towards the middle. On the bottom left now, we're going to curve this line down and then in. And then over on the right, we're going to curve this line down again and then all the way over and in, in towards the center. Moving in towards the top now, we're going to draw another diagonal line. Moving over to the right, replicating that, bringing that down in towards the corner. On the left now, we're going to curve this line all the way around and in towards the bottom. And then we're going to bring this all the way around and up and over on the right. Coming in towards the top now, we're going to draw a straight line that comes across. And then from here, we're going to draw the letter V. Now on the left side, we're going to draw another curved line that comes down. And we'll do the same on the right. And then from here on the top, we're going to curve this line around and then back across on the bottom. And we'll do the same thing over on the right side. Moving in towards the middle now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up and then back in. We'll bring our line straight across. And then on the right side, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes up and then down. Moving over towards the left, we're going to bring our line out and then we'll do the same thing over on the right. And now on the left side, we're going to curve this line all the way down towards the bottom. And again, moving over to the right, replicating that. Now coming up and in on the left side, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then now from here, we're just going to draw a straight line that comes across. In the middle, we're going to draw a small triangle. And then in each corner, we're going to just draw a diagonal line that comes right across. Moving in towards the bottom now, we're going to draw a diagonal line on the left and the right. On the bottom, we'll connect this with the letter V. And then on the top, we're going to draw a straight line that comes across. Now we'll come in and frame in the shoulder. So we're gonna curve a line that comes down towards our shield. And then on the right, we're going to curve another line that comes down towards the bottom. Over on the right hand side, we're gonna start up a little bit higher, curving this line down and then out. And then over on the left, we're going to arch this line down. On the right, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the side. And then from our right side here, we're going to curve this around and over towards our shield on the left. Moving inside of here, in the middle, we're going to draw the letter V. And then on our left side, we're going to curve this line down towards the bottom, arching that over. And then over on the right, we're going to arch that over towards the side again, and then back up and over on the right. On the top here, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up towards the top. And now dropping a little bit lower, we're going to replicate that. Moving in towards the center, we're going to draw a line that comes down on the left, moving over to the right and doing the same thing. And now inside of here in the middle, we're just going to draw a very small square. Moving in towards the bottom now, we're going to draw a curved line that comes across to the left. And then dropping even lower, we're going to replicate that again. On the left side, we're going to draw two lines that come straight down on either side. And now moving over to the right, we're going to replicate that. Moving in towards the middle, we're going to draw a line that comes down on the left and then down on the right side. And then like we did on the top, we're just going to draw another small square in the middle. Coming over to the right now, we're going to draw in the right arm that's holding the sword. So on the top here, we're going to draw a straight line that comes down. And now over on the left, we're going to bring our line down again. From here now, we're going to curve this line around and then down for the thumb, curving that up. And then on the bottom, we're just going to curve our line around and then all the way over. Now to the right of this, we're going to draw a small diagonal line. And then on the top, we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes out towards the right. On the bottom, we're going to bring a diagonal line out and then we'll do the same thing on the top. And then now from here, we're going to bring a line that comes in. And in this small section here, we're going to draw a small rectangle. Coming underneath this, we're going to bring a small line that comes out. 
And then now we're going to close this off with a diagonal line. Moving into the corner over here, we're going to bring our diagonal line up towards the top. And then again, we're gonna bring this across and in towards the side there. From the corner here now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. And then in the bottom here, we're going to draw two small circles. Coming in behind this, we're going to draw a small line that comes out and then across. Now behind this, we're going to curve our line up and then back down and over on the right. Moving in towards the rectangle shape here now, we're going to draw a small line that comes across, dropping a little bit lower, replicating that. And now we'll frame in the sword. So on the top, we're going to draw a small diagonal line that comes out, dropping a little bit lower, we'll replicate that again. On the top now, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the middle. And then moving over towards the bottom, we're going to draw another diagonal line, connecting it over and in towards the side. Coming in towards the bottom now, we're going to frame in the legs. So on the left, we're going to bring our line down. Moving over to the right, we'll replicate that. Moving further over now, we're going to bring another line that comes down. And then moving further over again, another line that comes down. We'll close both of these off with a curved line on the bottom. To the left of this now, we're going to bring our line out, across, and then back up and in towards the center. And then on the right of this, bringing this down, across, and then back up. On the left side now, we're going to close this off by curving this down, across, and then back up for the shoe. And then on the right side, we're going to bring our line down, all the way across, and then back up and over towards the side. And then we're going to bring a small line that comes down, across, and then back up. On the right side, we're going to curve our line down, across, and then all the way up and over towards the top. And that is it, that's how you draw Link. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial, and I'll see you all on the next one.